What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2.5 of the tutorial series on AWS CloudFormation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through the stack chain set in AWS CloudFormation. So uh, when should we use or when can we use a uh, stack chain set, right? So well, uh, let's say we have a stack that is already deployed and we want to perform some modification like we want to add new resource to that existing stack or we want to modify the configuration of the existing resource. For example, we want to change the instance type of an EC2 instance, or let's say we want to delete the given resource from the deployed stack, right? So at that point of time, we can create the chain set for the given set. So let's have a look. So as you can see on my screen, I have this upgrade underscore test.yaml. So what this template will do is it's going to simply take an input uh, from the user, uh, which will be the bucket name, and it's going to create the S3 bucket for us. Correct. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to upload this template and we are going to create this tag using this template, right? And then we will introduce one more resource. So that is going to be the chain set for that stack, right? So let's say we will add an EC2 instance as a resource that we want to deploy as a part of existing stack. Right. And then we will modify that instance. And finally we will delete one of the resource and we will see how it works. Right. So at this point of time, let's navigate to AWS management console and click on cloud formation. And here we are going to deploy that upgrade underscore test dot uh, YAML uh, as a stack. Right. So click on this three lines from the top left corner, click on stacks, say create stack. Now here uh, our template is ready. We are going to upload a template file. So choose a file, say upgrade underscore test.yaml and we will say next. Give a stack name, I will say S1. Give a bucket name that we want to create. So I will give some random name over here and we will say next. Next again and we will say create stack. Now the stack creation is in progress. Let's wait till the resource is created. So now as you can see, the stack creation has been completed and if we go ahead and click on resources, then we will be able to see the S3 bucket that is created uh, with the physical ID and that is going to be the name that we have entered, right? Now what we are going to do is we are going to modify this template. So I have this ec2.yaml, right? So I'm going to copy this parameters. So let me copy this parameters. So here uh, we are allowing a user to select the instance type from these three values that is t2.micro, t2.small and t2.large. And then again, we need to copy this resource that we want to create and we will paste it under resources. Right. So this is how our template will look. Now, once we're done with all the modifications. So here, what we are doing is we are adding a resource into an existing template, right? So that's what we did. And now let's go back to the cloud formation, select the stack, right? And click on stack actions, say create chain set for the current stack. And we will say replace the current template and we are going to upload a template. So you can use the uh, same template. So uh, we are going to have a look that how we can modify that uh, using current template and you can also edit the template in designer, right? So at this point of time, we are going to replace the current template and we are going to upload a template file, say choose a file, select upgrade underscore test dot VML or any of your uh, modified template, right? Click on next. Now here, if you notice, then it's not asking for the stack name, right? Because this is the chain set for the stack that we have already created. That is S1 in our case, right? So you can see over here, this is the stack name that we have given. And now it is asking for us to select the instance type parameter. So we are going to select t2.micro. And if you notice, then the S3 bucket name column is pre-filled, right? Because this resource is already created, right? And we will say next, say next again and say create chain set. Now you can name the chain set. So I will say S1 hyphen EC2 add, right? You can add a description if you want and we will say create chain set. Now what has just happened is that the changes has not been deployed yet, right? So the chain set is being created and as you can see the status the chain set is created successfully and what are the changes so if you look under this changes tab then the action that we have did is we have added a resource 
which resource that is the instance or the EC2 instance, right? And then you can look through input template, right? This is the overall template it looks like and the JSON changes that we have made. So we are adding the EC2 instance. So that is the change it's showing, right? So let's go back to changes. So this is the screen where you can review the changes uh, that is about to get deployed, right? Now, once you review this and you are satisfied with the changes, you can explicitly click on execute and then only the changes will get deployed until and unless uh, you won't click on execute, the changes are not going to deploy it, right? So basically AWS cloud formation allows you to review before deploying any sort of changes that you that you have made in the template right so now as you can see the update in progress and it has been initiated so now the instance is being created so let's wait so here what will happen is that the s3 bucket is going to stay as it is but apart from s3 bucket we have added ec2 instance so it will go ahead and create the ec2 instance and the s3 bucket will be untouched right so that's what uh, is happening here. So now as you can see, the update is completed. And now if I click on resources, then here I will be able to see two uh, resources that is S3 bucket and the instance that we have created. So we can click on this physical ID to redirect it to the EC2 management console, right? So here is our instance, right? Now let's say for example, I want to modify the instance type, uh, right? So I want to change it from t2.micro to t2.small. So what I can do is I can again create the chain set, right? But let me have a look at the template. So here I have this allowed value that is t2.small and I want to upgrade my instance from t2.micro to t2.small, right? Now, if that value is not mentioned over here, then you need to explicitly update this template and then uh, you need to replace the current template uh, while creating the chain set, right? But since uh, we want to upgrade it from t2.micro to t2.small, we already have this uh, configured, right? So we can simply say, select the stack, click on stack actions, say create chain set for current stack and we can use the current template, right? So click on next. And here, as you can see, we have the parameter saying uh, instance type parameter. And here we can simply say t2.small and we will leave S3 bucket name as it is. Say next, next again, and say create chain set. Again, uh, you can add a name or the appropriate description. So I will say EC2 upgrade, right? And we will say ch create chain set. Now the chain set is being created. Let's wait, click on this refresh button to see the changes. Now the chain set creation has been completed and it's successful. And now if you look at the changes, right? And within action, you will be able to see the modify tag and not the add tag. Because here we are modifying the existing resource, right? So that's where uh, it says action as modify. So review the changes and then finally click on execute and it will go ahead and deploy the changes. Now to update the instance type, the instance needs to be stopped, right? So if I reload this, it's stopping yet. And after stopping the instance, it will change the instance type. And then again, this instance will be in running state, right? So let's wait, it's stopped now, right? Now, as you can see, the instance type is t2.small and the instance state is pending. It means it's uh, initiating, right? If we look at the events over here, it's still updating progress. Now the instance state is running with the instance type as t2.small and this should be completed over here, right? It's taking a while. Now the update is completed, right? And within resources, uh, we are going to have only two resources that is AC2 instance and DS3 bucket, right? So this is how uh, you can modify the existing resource. And now finally, uh, we will have a look at the delete or deletion of the resource, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to modify this template again. We will simply remove the EC2 instance that we have added 
so this is how our template uh, was uh, at the beginning right and what we are going to do is again we are going to select this tag stack actions say create chain set from current stack we are going to replace the current template or you can also edit the template in designer and uh, remove the or comment the resources that you want to delete right but we are not using that at this point of time we will simply replace the current template we will say upload the template file choose the file upgrade underscore test next now here as you can see the instance type parameter has been removed and we are left with only one parameter that is s3 bucket name say next next again and say create chain set give a set name i will say ec to delete create chain set the chain set is being created let's refresh it it's in progress and the creation has been completed and now if you look at the action then it says remove right it means deletion of the resources uh, which resource that is ec2 instance right and once you review this changes and it looks good then you can go ahead and click on execute and the changes will be deployed so the update is in progress update complete cleanup in progress it's deleting the instance now if we look at the ec2 instance let me re refresh this it's shutting down right and once the instance will be terminated our stack will be in complete state Now the instance is terminated as you can see let me refresh over here as you can see the update is completed and now if i click on resources then there will be one resource that is s3 bucket by itself right so this is how you can create the chain set uh, of the given stack right and you can update add or modify the resources as per your requirement right so well guys that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time